What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today. Super glad to see each and every one of you guys. So, um, the Iti Awa RDA video went up, and I immediately had to take it down. Reason being, uh, the information was wrong I was given, so I immediately took it down. Uh, I don't want to leave that up. You just look crooked. Uh, so I immediately had to take it down. I want to apologize to anybody who felt wrong from that, you know, wronged from that. I didn't mean, I didn't mean anything by it. Uh, my intentions were definitely good. Uh, you read the title. Oh my God. You're like, Trevor, get to it. Let's see it, man. Let's see it. Kent, AKA Twisted Messes. You can follow him on Instagram at Twisted Messes, I believe. I'm not on Instagram. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna pull this up. However, uh, I actually had the opportunity to do uh, the Reviewer's Q with Kent and some other friends that were on there. Matt and all those guys. Oh, it was a great night. Beautiful night. And I was like, waiting for the chi, man. I was zenning out. Zenning out, waiting for it, man. Nothing happened, though. Kent, I don't know what happened there, man. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you guys this. Uh, it's made by Comp Vape. Uh, it might ring a bell to you. Um, as far as, uh, you know, companies go, Comp Vape made the El Cabron RDA. And I have one of those, and the similarities between the El Cabron and the Twisted Messes is undeniable. Uh, however, there is some pretty big differences there. Uh, it's what you would expect from Comp Vape. The El Cabron is one of my favorite RDAs. Uh, it's breeze to build, <laughs> enough goodies to last you a lifetime. It's like one of those. It's like one of those uh, Addies that you buy, and you're set, dude. Uh, you're set. So. Um, with all those goodies, I mean, you melt an insulator, you got two extra, and you, your, your center posts, you want to switch it up to copper, you can. It, the, the list goes on and on. I was really excited to uh, see that Comp Vape made this. Uh, Kent is truly a master at what he does, the artsy, uh, art type of coils. Uh, however you want to name it, however you want to do it, uh, mad respect to those guys that do that. Uh, there's quite a few of them out there, lots and lots of them. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you'll probably see, you know, pictures everywhere of just these beautiful coils. And if you're anything like me, you get lost in them, and you're just like, "How did you do that? How'd you do that?" But luckily, we have a guy named Kent to show us on his YouTube channel. So make sure you go uh, check out Twisted Messes on YouTube. All right. I upgraded this recently with some mags. That best thing I ever did, man. If you've been thinking about um, magnets, do it, man. Do it. Seriously, it's like the best thing I ever did, man. And if you're like one of those guys that was like me, I was kind of scared to drill into my mod. I didn't really know how to attempt it. I don't make box mods. I'm not a professional at any of this. Uh, hit me up, man. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how I did it. Super easy. You'd be surprised how easy it is. Uh, I didn't get the help from my man, Justin. What's up, Justin? Uh, I would have never got it done. So, the build we're going to do today, um, you know, to give it justice, I should do something artsy. Uh, but I don't really do the artsy stuff. Uh, I just I just don't. Uh, we're going to do something. I just got this at Summit. And... And I want to use it today, man. Like, I just kind of want to use it today. And so we're going to do a series build. Um, I've built this, I don't know how many ways. This is just a series box, and we'll get into all this. I got this from the Vapor Gate booth, and they're only making 100 of them. So. Uh, apparently, the MOSFET, I've never seen this MOSFET before. Uh, it's the highest rated one they could get. It's also very big. Uh... Hence the size of the box. So there you go. There's a lot of stuff to talk about out this, but that's not about today. I'm just letting you know 
So you're wondering why I'm doing this build in here. Now you know. We're going to throw it on this today. 24 gauge, 8 to 10 wraps. Uh, just a nice, nice build for that box. Let's talk about it. Let's take it down. Here we go. All right, here we go. Come on, man. I'm going to go ahead and bump you up here. I'm going to take off the autofocus because I want to get nice and close with this. Here we go. Upside down for you. Here we go. Twisted messes. Um, you know, as of right now, it is in stock and available for shipment per the um, time that we're doing. I'm doing this video. Comp Ape, you know, you guys know the logo and love it. Uh, if you build it all, you know who Twisted Messes is. Nice packaging all around. Let's go ahead and take off the lid here. Take off the lid, and you're greeted with all of this. Isn't that beautiful, man? Let's go ahead and pull out every piece here. So the Allen key was actually in the bag of tricks, which we'll get to. I'm gonna set that up to the side. You all have a not only a drip tip, but a drip tip adapter that just pushes right into the top. And we're gonna get to all that. Nice bore. Very generous, if you ask me. Not bad. Not bad. Nice quality. Uh, it's really in there. You can you can tell by pulling it out. It's a nice fit. You know, and I like that. That for me, for my personal style, uh, I really like that. Again, there's that bore. It's it's very generous. Pop that back in, and that, I wouldn't have it any other way. I like things almost too tight. You know, that's just the way. I, I've always liked my stuff. I never want to worry about it falling off. Let's set that off to the side. Here we got a ring. Here's one of the AFC rings. Uh, this one just in the 304 stainless steel. And we're going to get into the airflow in a minute. But let me just go ahead and show you every piece of this bit right here. The... logoing on this is gorgeous and I mean gorgeous it's just stellar absolutely stellar inside of it you know no crispity crunching or nothing super clean super clean uh, also you get a I believe they're calling this a competition or something but you know uh, stainless steel chuff style drip top man nice big bore threaded again later on we'll get into it we're gonna use the blue one today no I don't know I don't know we'll decide later but I think we might go with the stainless steel look pull out the Addy start of the show here before that let's talk about the bag of tricks okay o-rings in extra insulator good on you and uh, a spare silver plated pin silver plated brass right there contact pin if you can see that there you go and four oh geez I thought there's only three well excuse me moi two insulators three four yeah there's there, there is that damn it there's four there's four extra grub screws and enough o-rings to cover it one more time. All the way down to the drip tip, I believe. Wow. Beautiful. Gotta love it, man. Their comp vape has always been generous with the extras. And, and that's it, as far as the box goes. Look at that aside. Here is the dripper itself. And I'm going to go ahead and spin it, and I'm going to talk to you just a little bit about the specs as I spin it here. Four post design. Uh for 2.8 millimeter holes so plenty and I mean plenty of room for any kind of builder you are whatever you do that should be plenty of room 304 food grade stainless steel stainless steel dual hole center post silver plated brass contact pin and pins in the bag of tricks uh, 22 millimeter RDA 6 millimeter deep Juice well comes with one blue, one silver AFC ring, three 
drip tip options, including massive Delrin, a metal chuff style, which we were talking about earlier, and a regular 510 adapter. Peak insulators with extras included. Uh, definitely in stock. Um, so there you go. That's, that's all the specs. Very cool. Let's start from the top, man. Nice fit. Nice fit. Really nice. I uh, never had a problem with this popping out on me. Nice bore. Uh, just like, a lot like the El Cabron style, you know? Ribbed up top. Ribbed for your pleasure, man. It's great. It's great, man. Uh, now you're going to be, you're probably noticing all these, uh, I guess we could call them pips, grooves, however you want to name it, however you want to call it. This is great touch. Not only aesthetically is it pleasing to the eye, but it has a function, which is simple as, you know, gives you nice grip to unscrew it. Here's a look at that. Threading on this throughout, tight and smooth. Crisco, man. Crisco. Uh, slightly concaved right here. You know, slightly tunneled. Every little bit counts, you know. Every little bit counts, and Comp Vape knows that. They know that, and it shines in their atomizers. Absolutely, man. They know that. That's great. Uh, as far as the uh, grooves on here, uh, they're all exactly the same. There's no weird, like, oh, this one's kind of crunchy. You know, they're all crisp. You know, they're all crispy as fuck, man. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Uh, blue barrel. Pop that right off. Go ahead and spin this. I mean, look at the engraving on this. Isn't that great? I'm hoping my camera gives it justice. There we go. I mean, look at that. Ugh. That's beautiful, man. There's the inside. You know. Uh, the airflow holes again. Three of them. You can do dual or single with this. I tend to leave it in dual. It's a lot of fun. Uh, now, here we go. Let me grab my uh, tender foot here. Uh, pop off the barrel section. And on the outside, you're going to have one and two. So, what was super smart of them is, you know, the single. Uh, coil option is on the outside on the AFC ring. So if you want to rock it without this, you just have your tool, you two right there, man. You know what I mean? And you can just sit here and just. What I would have liked to see though, is I know, I would have liked to see this logo on here anyway, for people that like to rock it like this, man. Because that looks clean, dude. It almost looks like a crown, you know. But it would been really cool to see that, see his logo right there, just just to put it on there. I know, I know. I'll, I'll leave that up to you to decide. But for me, that would have been a really slick little idea. Okay. Let's go ahead and just take that back off. And keep going on, pressing forward with the barrel messes. And again, it's almost a, a pinstripe. I mean, I guess you can call it pinstripe, but it's very streamlined, you know? It's very crisp looking how they outlined the lettering with the white. Look at that. It's crisp, man crisp ah oh, it's just i mean to have one of these and you'll and you'll, you'll know what i mean it's outlined it's, it's just gorgeous seamless seamless man let's put this back together no actually i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave it for now man we'll have fun putting it together in a second here's the star of the show the deck everybody kind of has their eye on this so yeah 544 comp vape who made it uh, again, silver plated brass. Pin. Uh, it is sticking out quite a ways. That um, you know, that pin there, which is has kind of been a problem on some of my mods. And I'll go ahead and show you that right now. You know, threading it onto my fog box. You don't want to go too hard on these box mods. You'll crush your spring. And that's about as far as I dare go. See that gap? 
and it's barely there though like I'm okay with that like seriously I'm okay with that but if you're like a stickler man like about having flush fitting addies on your boxes and, and whatnot um, that might be a problem for you I haven't pulled this out and tried the other one maybe there I don't know but just so you know man it, it, you could have some flush fitting problems with that if you if you strictly box mods dude and on some of mine it has now if you use uh, hybrid stuff you're set that's beautiful man and they should all be like this anyway Uh, one thing to note, the bottom pin is crooked. So if yours is as crooked as mine is, uh, just make sure you kind of push on that. You don't want this to touch the side of your 510, the wall right here. Um, you'll get a serious short, a serious, serious short. So just make sure that's there to stay, man. Like it's not going to... It's not going to move or nothing. But I have tried tightening this down, and it is tight, man. So tight. Dual o rings holding it together. Again, we talked about that huge well, and I'm saying, I'm telling you right now, it is huge. Deep, deep uh, work is fantastic. The negatives are part of the deck. Milled right on in. Boom. There's those huge eyelets. Let's open this sucker up, man. Let's show off these eyelets. What's cool about this, too, is these grub screws. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pull this one out. And just show you look at the size of this thing is just huge they're monstrous look at that thing pop that back in move it back until it catches a thread there we go yeah let's get all these open and I'll show you and the allen key provided fits so well in here man so well on these and I like that less likely to strip you know which is good that on there alright let's show these off here jeez aren't those just generous man monstrous monstrous post it is a little crooked as you can see but not by much I don't see any danger of them touching each other or anything like that uh, it looks great man I'm okay with that. The posts themselves are very tall. Very tall. I want you to note the height of the eyelets versus the top of this uh, deck here. Let me see if I can get this just right. Right there. Right there. Okay. So basically your coil is going to be sitting pretty much just above the deck. And your con's going to be running into the uh into the deck as well right but i want to show you where your airflow is going to hit you know this covers the whole thing so i'm going to try and get it just right you know ballparking it just above it man just above it let's just pop it on for now show you on the inside hopefully you can see that that so pay attention to that when you're building your coil when you look in there and you see the location of where the airflow is to the eyelets pretty much right on line with them um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little lift on my coils the o-rings on this tight enough tight enough uh, when it gets when it gets wet it is a little loose but you know that's coming from a guy that likes really tight o-rings okay it may be just fine for you, but for me, it was a little loose when it gets wet, like everything. Um, but just to keep that in mind. So there it is one more time. Let's get all the view here. Peak insulators for sure. Let's build it, man. Let's build it. Yeah, I was really impressed with this when I opened it up and I just saw it. I was just like, wow, that is something else. Let's grab some pepper mode here. Move some stuff. Hopefully I won't have to get up. Knowing me, I probably will. There we go. So 
So we're going to do 24 gauge A1 Canthal around a eighth inch bit. We'll do let's do uh, nine wraps here. This is kind of a nice safe build for series box mods. If you got one, you're looking for a simple build um, to kind of worst sound in the world that you're kind of you know looking for a nice simple little build this might help you out man I'm gonna do a micro coil as well okay nine wraps nice and tight around that eighth bit now I really want those this coil snugging up around this thing. Go ahead and clip that. Let's do another one. Nine wraps here. Nine. Pull that nice and tight. Nice and tight. Yeah, the leads are looking a little crunchy on this one, but I think we're going to be okay. Since this one's the uglier of the two, I'm going to go ahead and throw that in first. But that's what I'm looking at. There we go. Uh, again, huge eyelets. This isn't. They just flop, fall right in there, man. I mean, look at that. Just ridiculous. Ridiculously easy. And I'm going to work at these one at a time where I have this T post design is nice for this. I can just work on this one right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave some space here, too. And after I get it in, I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I'm doing here. Okay. Let's start with the inside on this one first. With these bigger eyelets, and where I'm just using just regular old 24, I want to be careful, and I want to mind the fact that um, I don't want my wire running up the side of these screws. I want them pushed down by the screws themselves, you know, pushed down to the bottom. I don't want them kind of running up the side of these things. If, you, if you're working with an atomizer with these bigger eyelets like this one, uh you know, keep that in mind. You don't want that to happen. It's going to create crazy hot spots. Um, it's just not good. And it's definitely something you can taste, and it's, it's definitely dangerous as well. There we go. That one fell into place. Great. Uh, very secure feeling when you do that in this atomizer. Everything's very secure feeling. So I got some space here. Not much. But obviously we can work with it. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to simply push it towards the center. Like that. That's exactly, and I mean exactly what I wanted. That's, see where it's, see the location of my coil? That's right where I want it. Now it is crooked, but we're not done. Let's install the other one first. What's great about this uh, this atomizer is I want you to notice you know when you put in your next one I'm about to put in my next coil look at the space in the eyelet and the coil by pushing it over like that look at that just wide open to, to thread that other lead through you know no more having to mess with this stuff you know we can just come through bypass that coil completely and just pop it in dude uh, it, it really is a dream to build it really is one at a time with this. So, I'm doing the best I can here. Again, I want to leave some space. Hold that just like that. Let's start with the middle. Okay, now this is for a series box mod. Right? Um, it's a lot of power. 
Anytime you're dealing with series box mods, it's always good to take the extra steps to make sure that you have no shorts in your build, that you're confident in your building skills, especially before you even attempt something like this, and that it's at the right resistance, you know? Now, with this MOSFET that's in this box I'm going to be using today, the fog box, um, you know, I'm still playing it safe, man. Like, just, this is a good thing to do. Again, let's go ahead and make some adjustments. I'm going to straighten it out, push it forward. That's great. That's exactly what I want. It seems on camera that it's that they're kind of off, but they're not. They're they're the same distance. Okay, let's clip these. And as you can see, I mean, the ease of build here is just ridiculous, man. Get in there. Get in there on that one. This one right here that was poking in here. Uh, your positive lead right here. You got to get that flush, man. You have to get that flush. There's no way around it. If you don't, and you have some errant little lead there, see how see how you can't really you can't see anything poking out of that really. If you don't get that flush, and it touches the this other side, you're gonna pop your coil, man. It's gonna create a pretty good short there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. As you can see here, I have some unevenness, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna lift up on them. And I'm going to straighten them out. That's great. Straighten that one out. I'm going to come through. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten down the screws one more time. Make sure I don't have any loose ones laying around. That one was a little loose. Yeah, these are pretty tight. But I hope you can notice just how well this Allen key fits in here. I mean, it fits so good, man. I'm really impressed with this thing. Double check. Pretty happy with that. Now, I want the coils. Do you see how that one's kind of cockeyed looking? See that? I want to fix that, man. I want that straight up. You know, when I put the screw in, screwdriver in, you can see it's at an angle. You know, just make sure, just move it up. So it's nice and flat. That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and pull away from the camera for a second. Just get a really good look here. Building a camera is, mm, can be difficult sometimes. Yeah, that's why. That's what I did. That's what I did. Okay, that's the finished product. We can get rid of salt and pepper mode here. And uh, we can get up close and personal. Nice and close to the center uh, T-post, if you will. Nice and close there, but not touching, right? There's definitely room there. Um, no uh, Aaron kind of uh, leads popping around anywhere. Let's measure this thing. Regular 24 gauge. Nine wraps. All right, point three nine. Nice steady reading. A lot of you're wiping your heads like going. Whew. We don't have to go through that whole BC box mod mess again. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw it right here on my box. Right. I'm gonna grab my tweezers here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this on camera. I'm gonna fire it. I'm gonna pulse it, pulse it. Strum, light pinch. And I'm monitoring these coils as I'm doing this. Now, I could throw this on a mech. Uh, it's quite a bit uh, less um, vicious, if you will. 
There we go. And get them going first, and then go ahead and uh, like I could throw it in a mech, fire it up, pinch them out, get them nice and glowing, even like this, and then uh, throw it on here and and just double check. I can actually even use this. Uh, but if you're gonna use something metal, you don't want to fire and use the metal at the same time. What's gonna happen is you'll pop your coil, it's going to cause a short. That's great. I'm happy with that. Um, they're glowing up nice and evenly. And we're going to lob some vapor, man. So, let's wick it. Let's see if we can just keep it on the fog box here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go ahead and do this. I got some Jap cotton. And I'm going to peel the outer layer of the cotton off. And you know what? It's kind of like that hard little thin layer on the outside of like every like Kogendo or whatever. This is Muji cotton. And I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that off and then I'm going to make my cuts here. So I'm gonna cut it, you know, nice size here. I don't want them too tight in the coils. I do want my coils to be able to breathe a little. Um, that's just gonna help them perform quite a bit better. And I'm gonna just cut a little notch in my uh, my cotton. Let me move this. I'll show you like this. That's just going to help me get a nice point. So I have this, right? It's square. I'm just going to take it just at the end. Just cut a little. little. Right. Bring that back in. I'll turn it like this. I'll try and wick it for you. And then wherever I cut, wherever you cut that, that little notch, that's where I'm going to put my point. Get it nice and round. Keep it fluffy. Keep, keep everything running in the same direction. That's the big benefit that Japanese cotton has. Alright, let's go for it, man. Let me move some stuff here. Move some stuff here. Okay, go ahead and thread it through. Okay. So there we go. And... I'm going to pull on this way as I pull through. See that? It thins it out. I thin it out and I pull it through. And right there feels good. Give it a little spin. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that, man. Let's do another one. Take it. Put your little point in it. Try not to play with it too much. I'm just, I'm just simply, you know, dreadlocking it up, man. As my man Maestro would say. Thread it through. And tug on this way. And then pull through at the same time. That's right. Looks good. I'm happy with that, man. I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to clip it just on the outside of the deck. Which is about right. There. And the same on this side. Right. Now, I've been using, you can use uh, extra pieces of canthal, right? But I've been using just the smallest micro screwdriver to tuck this in. It couldn't be simpler. I'm just going to take it, can, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to push on the bot on the deck, and I'm just going to slide it up and pop it in. Just like that. I'm going to do that on all of them. I want the cotton to simply come down and just barely reach the bottom of the deck. The reason I want that is it wicks really well because the, the juice touches it and immediately starts running up the cotton. Um, less cotton you have, the less distance it has to run to the coil. And this is how I've been wicking forever. Um, I've never really had too many <laughs> wicking problems. Again, it comes when it comes out of the coil, it comes from the coil, it comes out, it goes down, just touches the bottom of the deck. Right. There's the first one. Very basic, very simple. And we're not done with these yet. This is just the beginning. Push it against the deck, lift up, pop it in. Keep everything nice and straight. great 
I'm happy with that. You know, once and it, it's it's very basic wicking here. Um, I'm not not doing anything crazy with it. I'm just letting the deck do the work. Just letting the cotton flop down in. That's all I'm doing. And I'll give you a better look right now. So you can see deck all in the bottom there. Hopefully you can. There you go. The cotton's only touching in the corners of the deck. Very basic, very simple build here. Uh, I'm really excited to see some YouTubers get crazy with this thing and do some fun artsy coils, man. So beautiful, those things, aren't they? You know, just the pictures, you just, ugh. Oh, the stuff they were doing with, like, the Make a War, like on Beyond Vape, the pictures they had. Gosh, beautiful, man. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead push that up against here there and I'm gonna get some juice on this man and I have some uh, good as gold we have a competition cloud e-liquid line and they asked me to review it so we're using in tortoise today in three milligram man it's like a 97% VG I guess um, so what I'm gonna do I'll bring it here. I'm gonna put a little juice on each coil. And I'll use the center post as a barrier. And I'm just gonna fire it real quick and I'll suck it in. See that? And I'm gonna continue to do that until it's pretty well soaked. There we go. That's great. As you can see, you know, when you drip through the top, it's gonna come down, you know, and it's just gonna run. There we go. And that's good for now. That's plenty for now. Bring it up. Barrel time. I want these obviously right in front of the coils. Dead center. It's good. Um, the idea here is you want it the coil a little higher than the airflow itself. And this is probably gonna be hard to see. Yeah, you can't even really see the coil in there. There we go. It's just a little higher than the airflow. And that's just how I like it. Um, inside, I'm gonna go ahead and look on the inside of the barrel. Make sure no cotton's touching the barrel itself. Um, I want a nice, no cotton touching the barrel at all. That's also gonna help with wicking. I found when the wick touches your barrel, or, you know, um, juice tends to get blocked there. Uh, it flows a lot more freely when it can just run, do its job, you know, when it can just run up the cotton right to the coil. So I'm just getting a little frillies out of there. Just like that. Cool. And I said we were going to go silver barrel, right? What do you guys think? I think you guys are yelling blue. You're yelling at me. Do the blue, Trav. I'll put it right over the twisted or over the messes, and uh, which is also a nice touch. Okay, AFC ring on. Add the um, screw down top. Those pips help a lot, man. Those little grooves. I'm gonna hold on to it as I spin it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And it is, and let's finish it off. Let's top it off with the down on top. And there it is, man. The twisted messes. Let's back it up, man. We're done with the up close stuff. We good? Yeah, we're good. So there it is. What do you guys think? Uh, it damn near lines up with the fog box Isn't that great I mean the met the, the lettering and everything it pretty much aligns right up again that gap is there to, to be honest I kind of like that especially on this box keeps the heat off the dot off the box um, very cool Can we set this off to the side where's that juice go there we go now I really want to get some juice in there let's see what it can do man Twisted Messes RDA. Let's hit it, man. We'll 
talk about the flavor and the airflow as well. As you can see, just gobs and gobs of very heavy, dense vapor. This box, actually, this build actually works really well on, uh, you know, your standard box mod or mech mod as well. It works really well. Um, you know, the overall feel of it. You can probably hear how quiet it is. It's very quiet. It's very. It's got a very smooth flow to it. I think the design where it has the, um, you know, the almost wave, I guess you could say, right? Like his tidal wave coil or whatever. Um, it's pretty cool because as you close it off, and let me unscrew it from this device here, and I'll show you what I mean uh, by the airflow, which is really clever. So you got your airflow here, right? And as you close off the um, the airflow, you can close off just a single hole like that, or you can go to two, two like that, or to three like that. You can almost slot it too. Look at that. So teeth kind of um, counteract each other, and it makes almost like a slot. And like I said, I'm rocking mine wide open. Now it's very smart to do very smart uh, but the airflow is so generous on this and it's so nice the draw is just it feels like I want to compare it to something um, oh, there we go again those o-rings um, once they get a little barely any juice on them they get very loose oh, there we go but it goes right back on for me, I'd like to see those a little tighter. Uh, I should try the other O-rings in there to see if those are might be a little bit tighter. But yeah, talking about the uh, the draw on it, it's absolutely stunning, man. It, it really is. This is definitely one of my favorites. He killed it. It's got a lot of the characteristics of the El Cabron, right? As we were talking about before in the beginning. Uh, that's not. That's a good thing. It, it's an unreal amount of vapor. Um, you know, not much more I can say, man. You can follow him on Instagram at Twisted Messes. Uh, I think I'll have the link down below where you can pick this up at twistedmesses.com for all your cans, all sorts of needs. I want to say uh, congratulations to Kent, man. Congratulations to you, bro. I don't know him personally. Like I said, we just did a show together, which was super cool, but good job, man. Good job. Designing something can be difficult, man, and you nail it out of the park. Options, it's fun, it's clever. The flamed, blued look of the atomizer, is, it's new. It's, it's just, God, it looks so sick on there. Not much more I can say about this. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to email me, tjvapingreviews at aol.com, or simply comment down below, man. Let's end this. Classic four, man. See you guys. <laughs>